Hello, hello, welcome to day one. If you're not familiar with NIME, don't worry, I'm going to have a video in the comments which is going to give you an overview of the interface. So for day one, I'm going to focus on the Excel Reader node. I read in a lot of Excel files, that's why this one is the first one I'm going to focus on. So I put this here by searching the node repository for Excel and you see it's the top one. Right now I have it on fuzzy search so that it brings me anything with the word Excel. So you could just drag it from here to the canvas. With all of the nine notes, that's how they work. You drag them and drop them. But with the fire reader nodes, you can actually just drag in the exact file you want to read. And once you bring it into NIME, NIME will automatically put the most appropriate node for you to then configure. Okay, so the node's in here. Now I'm going to configure it. So you need to tell it where to find your file. There's several ways for it to choose where to read from. You can go to the local file system and then browse and navigate to the folder which has the, the file. What I usually do is I save the file in the same folder as my workflow. So if I go to relative two, current workflow data area, and I go to browse, my data file is in there. All my data files will be in here. And I created a folder called data. So once you once you do it this way and you click on the option for the current workflow data area and you click, click browse, it's going to take you to that data folder which you made. As long as you have your data files in there, this I think is the fastest, one of the fastest ways for you to get your data. So this data here is data for customer churn. From the telco company, I pulled this data file from NIME. I'll have the link to the data file as well if you want to download that to follow along because I'm going to use this in some more of the 30-day uh, series of videos as well. So usually it selects the first sheet, but you can change this if you want to take a different sheet. You can specify if it has the column names and what the column names are. That's usually in the first row. You can also tell it to take the row IDs if you have that from a specific column or to make new ones for you. And you can also control how much data is read, but in my case, I wanted to read everything. In the transformation section, you can go through to make sure that your variable types are the variable types they should be. But if they are not, you can always change them. Also here, you can deselect certain columns that you know you're not going to be using. So let's say I didn't want to use, uh, hmm, what's one to take off? Let's just take off tech support. Let's say I didn't want to read that in. And I also did not want to read whether or not they're streaming TV or they're streaming movies or they're using the streaming movie service. So I could just deselect those. And once I read it in, it's going to read in my data without these columns. Over in the advanced settings, there are a couple of things I usually do here. One thing I do is to limit the data of row scan because sometimes you might have different data types in the same column. So that's gonna cause an error when you read it. If you uncheck this, you're not gonna get an error and then you have to like specify or fix the discrepancies in that later um, if needed. Another thing that's really important here, especially if you work with financial data, um, usually in the financial industry, you might have numerous Excel files for the same thing. And you might want to keep track of which file information is coming from. If you put this append path column, that, re that will really, really help you to know exactly where your data is coming from, which location your data is coming from. Now I'm going to run this so that we can see how the data is brought into Nine. Okay, it's done reading. We have about 7,000 columns. Let me make this bigger. You can preview the data down here in the node monitor, which if you go to view, just make sure that you have the node monitor selected and you'll be able to see some information of the data that you bring out. And if you right click on here, the last option file table, you can see the entire output of the file you just read in. You can sort things. And you can sort by multiple columns as well and you can do other things in here as well and that's about five minutes this is how you read in data to nine with excel i hope you've enjoyed this and i shall see you in the next one thank you goodbye